What is going on guys and welcome to this video. Now today as you can see behind me I am at a church. Now what would you be expecting from an abandoned church? You're probably imagining the benches, the pew at the top of the room and the stained glass windows. Now as you can see behind me there is stained glass windows but that's about as much of a church as this place. But anyways, as I was saying, yes this place does have stained glass windows, but that's about as much of a church as you're going to get from this place. From what I've heard, this is a very, very unique place and I am excited to get inside. So, without further ado, let's go get inside. So, we are inside the church. This is the first little room that, uh, we've entered and already I'm seeing some very interesting things. Now I will show you more in depth what is around me and especially down here, probably one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. As you can see, I am all on my own today. Oh, I know, it's sad. But my usual exploring buddy Mike is away in America at the minute. Not jealous at all, but hopefully he's having a good time out there. He deserves the break. But we continue with the explorations. I know he's going to be quite annoyed that he's missed out on this one because he's one of them that just loves to look at all the details, all the little uh, the little blasts from the past, the newspaper articles and all that stuff. This place is just filled with stuff. It may only be one or two rooms, but god damn, it's going to take a long time to explore it. So without further ado, let's get on with this exploration. Now then, as I said, this place is completely full of stuff and straight away, straight away, we are just blessed with lots and lots of different items. I don't really know where to begin, um, but you can see we've got old tins and old... Let me just turn the light down a little bit. We've got old tins, old oils, a little book here from 1978 as well. We've got like an old comic book here from 1978. That's awesome. You don't really see comic books too much these days. So to see one that's 40 years old, it's pretty interesting. What's this? Looks like pottery, wow. That's freaky. <laughs> wow. It's made really well though. HG243. Don't know what that means. I'll leave that there though. In here, lots of paperwork. Uh, links, shines links. Not too sure. And lots of like little bits of cutlery in there. Nothing too crazy on here yet. We're moving over to the window and we have this. This is one of the creepiest dolls I have ever, ever seen. The eyes are just hollow. You can, you can see there's even like little teeth in there as well. That is a horrible, horrible little thing to see, but for starting off, this place is looking good. But also on here, we do have a lot of drinks as well. There's actually a little glass here with some liquid in. Uh, I'm not sure which of these it is. If you guys know, I'm guessing it's this one. But if you guys do know, then let me know in the comments. We do have a little sign on the wall here. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Very, very creepy. Moving on, should we head into the main room? I don't know if you're quite ready for this. Look at all this stuff. And then you just turn. This place is full of stuff. Now this is going to present a bit of a challenge for filming because I do not know where to start. Literally everywhere you look there is something to see. I think we just start over here where we started out and just go from there. We've got lots of old posters on the wall. We've got cupboards. I'm not sure what this machine is here. Um, I'm not too sure. If any of you guys do know then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. But it's kind of weird just all of this stuff has been thrown in here. I mean you wouldn't... Imagine, well this building is a church if you couldn't tell, but you wouldn't picture a church having all of this stuff in it. It's sort of like a big garage sale. <sighs> kind of strange. I'm not going to start ratching through all of the, the books on the floor because it does look like there's a, a lot of Bibles and hymn books and uh, stuff like that, which is to be expected in a church. Um, but there is some creepy little items that I am going to focus on. For example, this here, a child's shoe with a sock in it as well goes along with this old push chair as well, which on its own is rather creepy itself. Just how old it is and the actual, the fact it's just sat here with the teddy bears inside. It's actually a little bit hard to actually stand in here because there's just so much stuff. <laughs> I'm 
So we are going to move into the main area where it's a bit easier and there's a bit more of a, a path to walk around, I guess. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. I don't really know much of the history on this place. Uh, we'll try and find out what I can for you. But the fact that you've got like the window here, I'm not sure where that's from. Maybe up there? Does that look right? Because that's all being boarded up up there. And it looks like that wall has sort of started falling in. So it looks like that is actually the window from there. Not sure how that has happened, but uh, that's maybe a reason as to why this place is no longer in use. It is just very, very strange. I mean, it's hard to understand why all of this stuff is in here. It's kind of like there's been like a market in here, but something happened at the market and everyone just had to get out. I don't know if that is what happened here, but it is kind of like that. It would be kind of weird if they had like a bit of a market on and that wall was just falling down and everyone just ran out and left it as it is. Who knows? I'm hoping I'll be able to find out. It's the teddy bears and like stuffed animals and the little baby dolls. Those are the ones that creep me out the most because it's like, that was a kid's toy, you know? Where's that kid at now? Why have they not got their toy anymore? And there is an old electric piano over there. Um, I don't think it's gonna work. Another cool knife, like the one we saw in that house last week. That's a nice handle as well. I'm not going to touch it just in case someone goes and murders someone with it. But, um, yeah, very cool knife there. So moving on to this little shelf here. Got a note. It's kind of hard to read. Um, so I'm not even going to attempt it, but it looks hard. There's really cool tins as well for Bisto gravy. Um, Bisto, if you're not familiar with it, is like a huge gravy... I believe they're still going today. Uh, I'm not too sure. Really cool vintage tin there. Let's see if there's any dates on it. No, it doesn't look like there is. Got to move on through a little bit more. A bit more open space here so we can have a good look around. This poor dog looks sad. Just sat here being abandoned. I feel like this place is going to be better for photos than video because there's just so much to see. It's difficult to film everything so I'm just gonna have a bit of a film of all sorts and you guys can pause it if you want to look at something a more, bit more in depth. There's some very very weird artifacts here. Like I was saying to you earlier it's kids toys and stuff that freaks me out the most and <laughs> we've just got a chair absolutely full of them. This doll in particular. There's just so much to see that it's hard to see it all if that makes sense. I'm not too familiar with the whole church vibe, so um, I'm not even going to pretend I know what all the books are for. It's quite a small church as well, if you think about it. If this was, you know, if this was empty and it had all the benches in and stuff, it's not that big. This is known as the Hoarder's Church, which is very understandable. I mean, I had an idea of what this place was going to be like before I came here, but um, actually being here, you can see why it's got that nickname. Let's carry on over here. Ooh, what's this? It's got like an old photo album here. I don't want to show too much, just in case, but... Getting down to probably one of the creepier areas in the building. With all these mannequins and... Lots of little kids' toys and dolls and... Ugh. Like, this stuff down here is like... It is like something out of a horror film. This one in particular, very, very freaky. There's so many really nice ornaments here as well. It's lovely to see that they haven't been smashed up and everything. But this is the sort of stuff that you would see in like your grandma's house and they would just be on the on the mantelpiece. I know that my grandma has quite a few of them. It's such a creepy smile. Why would any kid want that? These mannequins are strange as well. They have seen some things. Why is one eye open and one's like closed? I can already see some really cool photo opportunities in here. So uh, once I have finished filming, I will run around again and get some cool photos. I want to head over here, but I don't want to stand on broken glass and stuff, which there is a lot of. Um, could be better to go that way around. Ow. Yep, standing on broken glass. Fun. Again, it's just a lot more, a lot more of what we've already seen, a lot of ornaments, little pieces that you put on the mantle. But there's some freaky ones, like uh, like clowns and little odd faces. Lots and lots of books. Lots and lots of books. There's so much glass in here. It's quite worrying to walk around on because I don't want to get some glass right up through my foot. 
I've had that before, it's not the most fun in the world. It's such a weird walking surface because every step is like different. Now this is weird over here because this is like a bedroom. We have an actual bed here with bedding on it, teddy bears on it, but you've got like cabinets and a heater over there, wardrobes. But why is there a bed, like a bedroom? just off the main church building room. I can't tell if maybe the owner of the church lived in here. Nobody has this much stuff. Like, because what I was thinking was maybe they've been kicked out of their house or something and had to move into the church and brought all of their stuff with them, but I don't know. That doesn't seem, seem quite right. I don't know, very weird. It's just strange how there's one bed. Maybe if there was a few beds, it could have been like where the family lived, but as there's only one bed. There's actually a letter here as well, which came all the way from Japan. And it's addressed to someone who lived here, by the looks of it. But I'm not going to... I've obviously blurred out the name and address of this place, but you can see it came from Japan in the top left corner there. I really do not like these dolls. Like, why does it look so sad? Why would any kid want that? Oh, it's got hair as well. Oh, not a fan of that, thank you. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Again, an absolute monster collection of books. Just seen this wardrobe as well. Got some more clothes in there. Bring the meme back. <laughs> I have just spotted these little dolls as well. Just look at those faces. They are creepy. Wish you could ask these dolls what they've seen. It would be nice. Apart from that, guys, there isn't actually too much more to see. As I said, this is just a pretty much one-room thing. Hard to show you any more. I mean, it's just more of the same stuff. It's more ornaments, more clothes, more dolls. It's all very strange. Uh, it is just a church at the end of the day. Like, it is pretty hard to film it all. Like, I've never really struggled with filming a place, but this place is... It's been a challenge, like... But I do hope I've given you a bit of an insight into what this place is like. It is very strange, and if you guys do come here on your own, you can uh, really delve in. But I find it quite hard to actually film it. I am going to get a lot of cool pictures here, and then some more exclusive ones on my Instagram, so go and follow me on there. It is just simply Lee Riley. You can also follow me on Snapchat. I tend to do, like, maybe, I guess, like, behind the scenes on Snapchat. Um, when I do go and do an exploration, so you can check that out as well. Again, just Lee Riley. The advantage of having a surname spelled differently. You generally get the username that you want. But anyways guys, I am going to go ahead and take some photographs of this place. And then I'm going to move on because I do have something else I want to check out and my battery life is pretty low at the minute. If you haven't seen the history video on the murder house, it may not be out yet. I don't know which video I'm going to put out first. Um, if it is, go and check it out. If it isn't, then subscribe and you'll see it when it comes out. But I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new around here. And hit the notification bell if you want to be part of the notification squad. As a lot of you will know, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I am going to be sleeping in an abandoned hospital. I do think it'll be a hospital on my own for a night. Not looking forward to that. So, get me to 10k subs and... Uh, ugh let the nightmare begin. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will catch you next time. Peace! Didn't want to like turn away and walk away because there's just crap everywhere. Oh, right, let's get some photos. Too fucking bright.